A massive mural is being painted inside Donovan State Prison. Taking part are two of its most infamous inmates, the Menendez brothers. It's the first time news cameras have seen Lyle Menendez since he was sentenced. New at 11 o'clock, 10 News reporter Matt Boone takes us inside the prison with a look at the unique mural project they're involved in. That's actually not a bad starting point right there. Okay. To turn something ugly into something beautiful. That's why this is always the ugly part. Requires time. Not quite the orange I was looking for. And a vision. I just do my thing. I know what it's going to look like when it's done. Robert Beckett says he's got a lot of both. I'm painting from what I remember, you know, more than anything, more than a picture. Part of the vision came from Brahmin Kiri, who runs spiritual outreach programs at the prison. I would come every week and um, it was just like grey and I was like, how are we going to access our heart when there's no colour on the yard? But some of the idea also came from two of the prison's most infamous inmates, the Menendez brothers. I spoke to Lyle and Eric who had been thinking about a beautification thing where we're, gonna, we're gonna actually going to plant grass and get flowers and all that kind of stuff soon. Eric and Lyle Menendez were convicted of murdering their parents in their Beverly Hills home in 1989. Their trial captivated the nation, including the explosive allegation that their father had sexually abused them. After spending 20 years apart in separate locations, they were reunited in 2018 at Donovan State Prison. At the time, Lyle told the Daily Mail he thought the day would never come. The canvas they're working on are these 30 foot long walls and while it's not completed yet, their plan is to have the mural go all the way around the prison yard, once completed, making this the longest mural in any prison in the country. Eric and Lyle declined to be interviewed on camera while we were inside, but Lyle happily posed in front of the mural with his painting group. Despite having exhausted all of their appeals to get out, they have become involved with the rehabilitation of other inmates. Michael Robinson has been behind bars for nearly 30 years, but says Eric approached him about becoming involved in the mural project. He helped me in a lot of ways, man. Mentally, you know, helped me uh, ground myself. Painting, he says, helped that process. I've been in prison for 27 years and everything has been hard, concrete, and I just wanted to soften the place up a little bit. This doesn't exist in the whole prison, just in the area known as Echo Yard, where Lyle and Eric are housed. There are inmates of all levels here, allowed in only if they can coexist peacefully. It offers yoga, meditation, movie screenings, and even puppies, who are in training to be guide dogs. The Menendez brothers say they've become involved in trying to help others get out and make it more livable in the meantime. Most recently, organizing a fundraising campaign to put grass in the yard. There's got to be consequences, but there's also got to be the love. But the idea that prison is punishment still isn't lost on the inmates here. Well, I was a little apprehensive at first, uh, be, having been in prison for some time. Um, you know, we're, we're unfortunately, it builds a, a little skepticism. Jonathan Marvin says with his prior experience in prison, he never expected he'd get the chance to paint in prison as a form of rehabilitation. But to have something like this, you know, take place is pretty mind blowing. And it seems to be working. I do it for therapy. It keeps me grounded. It keeps me um, humble. It's giving me a, a peace of mind. Ruben Radio has been in for 25 years and is finally getting out at the end of the month. For people who think they have it good painting and watching movies in prison, he argues it's helped him make a dramatic transformation before getting out. Don't be afraid of me. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a good neighbor, uh, you know, and, and, and thanks to these projects like this, it, 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 um, it helps absolutely. And while the Menendez brothers have no real chance of life outside these walls, projects like this are helping change how prisoners actually better themselves for those serving life and for those who may get a second chance. In Donovan State Prison, Matt Boone, 10 News. And Matt is joining us in studio tonight on this. Have the Menendez brothers interviewed at all since they were sentenced? Well, they have uh, talked to people on the phone, as you heard in this story. But as far as I know, they haven't given any news crews permission to actually film them while in prison. So we did get that look, um, at mm -hmm. least for uh, Lyle, who signed the release form to be on camera. Eric did not. Yeah. Um, I spoke to them off camera, though. Surprising to many people, I'm sure, that there's a painting project inside a prison. You mentioned yoga and other things as well, but it's kind of shocking. Well, it's not in the whole prison. It's really just in this one yard. It's called Echo Yard, as explained in the story. And the people inside, the inmates, have exhibited good behavior. 
and they really only get two warnings before they're kicked out of that unit and sent back into the rest of the prison, which doesn't have all these types of programs. Of course, the goal is to help rehabilitate and help some people with even long sentences get out of there um, with a little bit of hope. Mm -hmm. So that's part of the population that has access to this program. Yeah, not the, not the entire prison, all right. at least not yet. Very interesting. Thank you, Matt. Well done.